don't want to turn it on. <laughs> you don't know how to turn it on? I don't know how to turn it on. Okay. It's cold. Engine cold. Engine cold. Oh, Jesus. There you go. She's alive. It's Devin's lucky day because he's driving this car an hour and a half to D-Land. Abraham, because it's time to get the body work done so we can get this car wrapped and on its way. This bolt is from Subaru. When we changed out the subframe on this car, it was missing one bolt for the diff, even though it has two. This is kind of like a supporting one. Um, but it came from Subaru, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this on for peace of mind. As you guys can see right there, the bottom one is there, the top one is not, so let's go ahead and just get this in there. Just go ahead and tighten that in. That's a lot of gas. Ooh, I can smell it. Should I keep going? I feel like we might need more. Know. You can do whatever you want to do. This looks uh this looks like garbage right now, but main goal is for uh Abraham to go ahead and fix over all these cracks, hopefully fix the carbon as much as he can. Um this is missing a good chunk here, hopefully fix this. And you know make sure that we don't have any rust issues which i don't think we will most of the car seems to be covered over and then when he molds the over fender and cuts all this out it'll all be really nice along with the new wrap that's coming so there's Alyssa's old over fenders that are going on the race car what a flex good yeah you look like you got your hands full yeah right yeah and you want more work huh uh what's up brother too much as you can see this car was once wide bodied so they uh they filled it with metal and then they tried to revert it to stock but i hate that so the over fenders i left you from Alyssa's car mold it and mold cut it. cut as much as you want as you can whatever i don't care because um, it's all covered and then we're gonna wrap the car um bumper I'm not, this this whole, I don't want a side marker. I just like, if you could just, the other side is so much worse. Really? Yeah. That's why that's bad. It's missing a chunk. Yeah. <laughs> you want to drive it back? No, I don't want it. We'll be back for you in a week. All right, well, as you guys can see, we are in Orlando right now. We have a few errands here. Number one stop is to figure out if we can find the leak in this bag. Um, and then two, we have to deal with some title work for the race car. And last but not least, we have to pick up the race car in, in D-Land on the way home from Orlando. So a long to-do list today. Hopefully they can knock out this air suspension issue. Um, and then uh, we can get our title locked in. Well, I guess we're happy to say it, there was nothing wrong with the bag. Yeah, nothing wrong with the bag. Yeah, it's just the airline. Yeah. We found out that um, it just turned out to be one of the lines in the trunk shifted when we did a pull because the whole management slid back and unplugged one, it unplugged one of the lines a little bit. So that's all fixed and it had nothing to do with the bag at all. So. Eat it. So we, it, it's fine. The car is fine. But, uh, Let's go get our uh, race car back. That's, that's gonna be, uh, I'm excited. Let's, let's go do that. Oh my God, he sanded the shit out of that bumper. <laughs> oh my God. What the fuck? Yo. What's up, man? You remade the whole bumper. Don't bring me another one like that. Don't bring you another one like that? Dude, that's crazy. Yo, it took me, it took me a couple hours. It looks good. Wow. Yeah. It's gonna be nice. And the over fenders in the back. Damn. That's crazy. How you, how you 
molding shit together? He oh, molded the pieces. He molded the overfender. Look That's at this. Crazy. Oh my god. That's beautiful. Yeah, that, that guy would love the car. That is beautiful, Abraham. All right, as you guys can see, the race car is home. My camera died yesterday when we picked up the car from Abraham, so um, I'm picking it up here in the shop where we are starting to take the car apart and get it ready for wrap. We're having to, sh Paul already did a celebrity of stripping all the tent. Well, except for the windshield. Except for the shitty windshield, which is probably, I can see why. This whole car came out really nice. Abraham did the over fenders really nicely. You guys don't remember, these are the Origin Lab rear over fenders that were on Alyssa's car and uh, they're molded to the car. No bolts or anything like that. And, and you can tell he did a lot of work to this front bumper to save all the cracks in the carbon and to the bumper. So it's all fixed, ready for wrap. Now we just pretty much have to disassemble it, put the coils on, the headlights and the taillights, and then this car is off to Kansas next Thursday. So there's a lot to do. Um, but we're going to go ahead and start taking it apart right now. Alright, car is pretty much fully disassembled, people. Um, as you can see, taillights, door handles, side mirrors, bumpers, headlights. Next video you guys see on this car, hopefully uh, we will be pretty much done wrapping it and uh, you guys will get to see the complete look but that is all I have for you guys today. Next video on this car we are going to be putting some coilovers on and then hopefully the video after that this car will be done being wrapped so that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I hope you guys are excited to see this car finished and on its way to Kansas. I think it'll be really cool but thank you guys once again um, and don't forget to never stop dreaming.